Hey everybody, this is Red Ribbon Gaming. And Death by Stress 15. And we're back with another episode of PK. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so staying in. <laughs> uh, I have no clue what the fuck's going on, so let's get right into it. Uh, Mother 3, everyone. It's been a little bit, as I, as you can fucking tell. Also, yes, I, re I renamed myself to Red Ribbon Gaming. The Why is the dog wearing a helmet? Oh my god, you just don't watch any of my videos, do you? Well, to catch you up to speed, I'm infiltrating some place called the Thunder Tower. But how does the dog wearing a helmet help that? It's called the Disguise. Have you noticed that everybody else around here is dressed like assholes? But he's a dog! And these people are pig-themed. I, I feel like that's the least offensive problem we have here. <laughs> so... Uh, so, they're just idiots. I mean, that sums up the, almost this entire army. Anyway, oh, recapping from the last episode, apparently I was mistaken for the commander of these pig guys. That's why we're all disguised. Oh, man, this was way easier when I had earbuds. <laughs> oh, I am not looking forward. Anyway... We continue our ascent up the Thunder Tower. Hopefully, we can get to the bottom of A, why we, whoever this commander guy is, and B, what's up with this tower. Apparently, it's the string of all the different random thunder drops that have been destroying all of Tazmili. Ah. Motherfucker, don't even pretend like you're following. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't. You never watched a single one of my video, you asshole. <laughs> I have. I just haven't watched Mother. Okay, name one video that wasn't that was Mother 3 that you've actually seen. I saw the beginning. That's why. I'm not interested in Mother. How dare you? I'll watch you play Earthbound, but Mother's just. Eh. I don't know. I just don't like it as much. I do like Earthbound a little more, too. But I chose this one just because I just have more fun with this one. Well, I mean, whatever you have fun with, you know? Well, it's less of fun, I just... I don't know. I guess I, I just know, watch really. this one more. Holy shit, I forgot to mention in the last episode, I have fucking help. Leave me alone. Uh, in the last... In the last video, well, since the last video, which has been a long-ass time, I grinded. A lot. A lot, a lot. I remember what's up here, and it's not very friendly. I'm just as ignorant to this as you guys, so... Let's just say the boss beyond this mid-boss is not friendly. Oh, okay. Actually, I believe this chapter idiots. has... I believe this chapter has two mid-bosses. I love the fish. Electric catfish. They seem to be lacking in spirit. Boo! Gwah! Bleh! They seem to have grown used to our scare tactics lately. They never get surprised anymore. Well, I mean... Boo! Gah! Bleh! Yeah, I don't think that's helping. Yeah. I mean, I know fish are supposed to have really short memories and all that, but if the same thing happened every single day, every single minute, I'm pretty sure even they can remember it. Agreed. Also, I would not be trying to scare electric catfish. I'm loving how there's just random frogs hopping about through this tower. Oh, yeah, the same frogs. The only person so, what, above did our... they use it too? Do they use it? Uh, probably. <laughs> the only person above our boss is our boss. Our boss is incredibly... The only person up, up above is our boss. Our boss is incredibly scary and frightening. But he's a hardcore DCMC fan, so giving him DCMC merchandise will put him in a good mood just like that. Well. Get the joke? Yeah, I do. I didn't say it was clever. <laughs> I've seen I've seen uh, more clever cover-ups from JoJo stand names. That is a lie, and you know it. Well, okay, no, some of them are a little harder. I still <laughs> trying to figure out who Moody Blues is. <laughs> See, <laughs> you're dressed different. Maybe you have something important to say. Present power output, just a little over 10 kilos apps. That's not an actual measurement. Term. Yeah, power output's really fallen. Fuck is a kill zap. All right, for everybody who's watched the last episode, this should seem pretty familiar. Limited edition fan club DCMC figurines. 
They've been de they've been very delicately crafted. Another set are being kept in storage. How would I know that? Magic. A DCMC flag distributed to the DCMC fan club members. The DCMC logo is boldly printed on it. Three more are being kept in storage. Why would I know that? Uh, maybe there's really, really, really small post-it notes with this written on there. Probably. A DCMC poster shouldn't be on sale yet. That shouldn't be on sale yet. It's in perfect mint condition. Another one being kept in How that many do you motherfuckers get? A lot. They they tried to keep their boss on the good side. Alright, everybody. I believe this guy seems rather familiar. Yo. So you came all the way up here to visit me, kiddos? You got the best of me last time, because I was in my ordinary clothes. But now that I'm in my combat suit, it's handle with care time. Okay. The Fierce Pork Trooper attacks. Yeah, so much like the last time we dealt with this fucking Joker, just throw some DCMC crap at him. And pretty much the fight's taken care of here and now. That being said, he's still somebody you don't want to take too many direct hits from, so I'm going to try my best to even this playing field out. <sighs> well... There's not really much to talk about after everything I've just said. As far as this guy goes, he's nothing special as far as fights go in this game. Okay. I do like his theme, though. It's not a theme you get to hear too often, but you hear... Actually, no, you hear it a lot, actually. You, um, Smash Brothers uses it a lot. Yeah, they do. <sighs> so, yeah, uh... Death by Straws is here. Yeah. This, he, this is the first, and I... Pretty sure one of the few videos he's actually gonna show up in. <laughs> I, I can't promise how many times he'll be actually here to be part of this. <laughs> so I've actually been thinking about making a new logo. Oh really? Yes. I mean, Lonk is fun and all, but it's a little hard for me to take my own videos seriously when my cover art is just Lonk. <laughs> I remember some of your, your, I remember your early Pokemon uh, crystal stuff. Yes. It's just Lonk riding on the back, like just swinging around on a chain comma. <laughs> if I remember the logo correctly. No, it, it's Lonk swinging around a giant straw. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I wasted my time drawing that. <laughs> uh, I need to get Photoshop so I can actually start making my logos. Well, I mean... It, it's fun sometimes, but other times it's kind of just a pain in the ass. I can imagine. Well, I have next to no art skills whatsoever, so... So... So, I have no problem just using Photoshop. <laughs> uh, hey, dude, no, the, fair warning to anyone. I'm no artist. Don't ask me to draw anything. I've seen him draw stuff before, and it's hilarious. It's awful, that's what it is. <laughs> Like, I, I remember that one time that, uh, for some ungodly reason, way back in, uh, high school, you were asked to draw for one of the, uh, group projects. Unlucky you, you weren't in my group that time. Yeah, I would've just told you to And do you it. legitimately just drew a stick figure with a top hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not, I'm not disappointed with it, because it ended up being a lot better after somebody else took over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, pony. Bony, no. Don't, not... don't, don't let the dog die. <laughs> Whoops. My dog is over here giving him a death glare <laughs> through his cone. Oh, what? Motherfucking <laughs> cone head's going to do something? <laughs> Watch him. He'll ram the cone into the back of your leg. Oh, shit. Is he still fighting? <laughs> okay. Whoops. Didn't mean for that to happen. You know what the sad part is? My what? other times of actually playing through this, I made sure Boney didn't die, so this is embarrassing. <laughs> Take this DCM. That's pretty much this entire fight. Just keep, keep tossing this crap at him. Yeah, pretty much. He can't fight me afterwards. That being said, he hits really hard, so I'm hoping to end this quickly. <laughs> Stick. I believe that lowers his. I want to say defense. Well, I mean, makes sense. Fuck. I mean, if it works. 
So you just stuck with the canon name for that? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Mainly because I'm just focusing on the story. Fair enough. Look, I could probably I could probably have spent all day thinking of I spent a vi one video alone looking looking for a new name. But I chose PK not to. Burger. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be your favorite thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I would have just said I would have just said a, a, a half pound roast beef sandwich from Arby's. <laughs> well, like We're not sponsored by Arby's and Come you on. wish you wish that you were sponsored by Arby's. <laughs> Do I really? Yes. Because, I mean, then you'd be getting money from them for the mentioning them. And then I'd be spending said money getting their food. <laughs> I know what I'm about. <laughs> uh, you know, if I was, honestly, you know, honestly, if I had any actual, any actual uh, confidence in my skills in this game, I'd probably try to beat them without the uh, DCMC pamphlet. Uh -huh. But after Boney's death, it's come to my attention I'm not that good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have your earbuds in, I'm, I'm going to just say it's fine. Yeah, I am much better at this game when I have my earbuds in. That's because the, the combat system is stupidly based like a rhythm game, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it's pretty much a rhythm game. Well, I mean, that that's cool and all, it's but cool, considering but when you this can't, game... But yeah. when you can't hear the music that well... I, just, just considering the fact that this came out for the Game Boy... That's impressive, I'd say. Oh, I mean, it's impressive, it's also really, really stupid, because the only way you could plug headphones into a Game Boy is to get an adapter. Oh my... Not on the Advanced. Yeah, even on the Advanced. Really? Yeah. I don't... Even the the uh, most advanced model, the SP, you had to get an adapter. Oh my god, I think you're correct. I am correct, I remember buying an adapter. <laughs> knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> And then the DS came along, uh, and I was very happy. The DS was probably one of my favorite systems to, like, get. It yeah. was such a good idea. It was. Also, Home to Flipnote. Flipnote's great, and I wish Flipnote was like... Uh, it's still a thing, I just... Well, I mean, they, they made a new version for 3DS. Oh, yeah, hey, look, so. he's dead. Huh. Neat. Uh, name your favorite Flipnote that you may have ever seen. Mmm... I know, that's a hard question considering how long it's fucking been since I've last thought of Hatena. Um... Which, by the way, look up from... Boss. Look up Boss from Hatena. He does great, great ones. Probably... Uh, level Up. I'm not familiar with that one. I will have to... Hold up. Hold up. We got dialogue. <laughs> you may think you're a good impos impersonator, but you can't fool my eyes. Well, well, well. Look, he's back. Did you're the very definition of the phrase like a moron flying into a flame, Lucas? Did did they just squeal? Absolutely. Not that it. Oh, you mean um, their Hitler-like salutes? Yes. Yes. The pain and woe I went through after that Drago sent me flying, I really must repay that favor in full. Is it really impersonating if you're legitimately just walking around like yourself? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, this guy's supposed to be smart, but... That dog just climbed a ladder, and that makes me happy. <laughs> Pony's awesome. Which I'm really sad he, he died during this fight. Asshole. Do you honestly think you can escape? <laughs> I just want one of his stupid minions to slip on that on the way up. But yeah, can you really consider yourself a mad scientist if you don't know that he's not impersonating shit? <laughs> this is just how he looks. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here. Trivia. Random present! Trivia card, too. Oh, I hope I'm remembering to collect those, because I remember something being very important about those trivia cards. Uh, another one of my favorite flip notes is probably, uh... It was a music video one. I can't remember its name right now, though. I think I learned a lot of songs because of that, because of Hatena flip note. I did, too. Alright, let's continue onward. The screw loose blocked the way. Oh, it's a screw. Okay. <laughs> I 
I like the music and I like the music in Mother 3. Hey bud. You okay? I think some I think it's some of the music that actually got this game like is one of the few reasons this game can't come to America. Are you, are you still mourning the loss of Boney? <laughs> he's back, so I don't know why he's upset. <laughs> <laughs> My dog has just he is laying down refusing to move now that that Boney died in that fight. <laughs> Uh. Oh, uh... He's traumatized. <laughs> you traumatized my dog. <laughs> Would not be the... F hey, look, he was traumatized from the moment he, from the moment he lost his balls, alright? That had nothing to do with me. <laughs> uh. Oh, I actually, uh... Found one of the people that has one of his, like, fucking 50 offspring. Oh, yeah. D yeah. Hey, man, he, was, he knew he was gonna lose him, so he's... He, but, What's the phrase? Use it or he, he lose, went use out, it or lose it? Yeah, he, he went out with a literal bang. <laughs> but anyways, I, I'm still in contact with one of the people that kept one of his puppies. Alright. And that puppy had puppies! Really? So my dog is now a grandfather. I'm pretty sure dog's been a grandfather for a while now. More than likely, but I actually know them but now. You, but you know of these? Yes. For all we know... Oh, he's... he's interested... He's now interested in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I have grandchildren. <laughs> no, Bo, you have grandpuppies. Uh. These trippy backgrounds, though. You'd think I'd be used to it after you made me play Earthbound. I didn't make you do shit. You left me alone for like an hour. With nothing but your Switch, and no good games but Earthbound. You mean my... Not my Switch. Not, no, your uh, Wii U, that was it. I'm about to say, not yeah. my Switch. Uh, oh, this is cheerful looking. She reminds me of the of the maid from the Jetsons. Oh, uh, Ro Rosie. Yeah. I think that's what she's based off of. I mean, just looking at her, I wouldn't... Da that frog is tied to a balloon. Indeed it is. <laughs> Alright, Kumatora. What's up with her? Uh, okay, so she's feeling feverish, that means she'll be, uh... Okay, yeah. Ah, she's only PSI Magnet, that's awesome. Uh, let's see what's around in this room. Made you look. Alright, that'll turn people around. Salt water gun? Kills robots. Oh, okay. Or at least does super damage to robots. Tiny cars are speeding around. This room is f trippy. <laughs> A secret herb. I wouldn't really call it trippy, but it's like the rooms. Disturbing. You know, all of I think it was like the nineties, but teddy bear. Every single rich kid's room in movies from the nineties. Well, considering who, all oh, right. Do you know whose room this is? Who's who owns this tower? Porky, right? Yes. I yeah. Feel up for a moment. I re I remember him in this Earthbound. Is just a room. He was a prick. This is just a room of nostalgia. Oh, hey, look, one more present. You are correct. So let's see what's over there. Duck! That is indeed a duck. <laughs> oh, fuck me! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy I healed. Me? I remember, this guy is actually really tough. Is he? Yeah, I remember this guy's actually kind of a pain in the ass to fight. He looks very strange, but I'm, I'm at least used to that with this series. I remember this guy's kind of a pain in the ass to fight. Besides, I've been playing Digimon, like, all week, so strange is nothing new. <laughs> uh, speaking of playing games, uh, you get any... Uh, Death by Straw has been, uh, played the DMC5, so what are your thoughts on that? I didn't know how much I missed that series until I played DMC5. I, I watched, and also, like, without spoiling, V is probably one of my favorite characters. V is really cool, but I'm... S even after his, uh, hair... his hair got... Butchered. I'm still loving Nero. <laughs> His hair did get butchered. I fucking hate that you, so much. You know who he looks like, though? Who? Which is almost perfect. Hmm. He looks like Dean from Supernatural. Kind of does. It's just Dean with white hair. It is Dean with white hair. And a robot arm, but, you know. Yeah, he does kind of look a little bit like Dean. Yeah. I'm still not a fan of the hair is the problem. I don't blame you. I don't like it either. I miss his old hair. I do too. I'm glad that Kyrie is still alive though. Even if she only shows up in the beginning. Yeah, true. 
Hey, at least they recognize that she's still alive and existent. I'm happy that, uh... Also... I'm happy Lady's still around. I kind of wonder what happened right after DMC3. Also, out of Dante's multi-weapons, I gotta say, my favorite is the motorcycle. <laughs> that thing's well, so Well, we don't know fun. how many people have actually gotten there yet. Well, I mean, that was in the trailer, so... Really? Yeah, that one was in the trailer. I never watched the trailer. Alright, Duster went up by a level, and so did Kumatora. HP went up by 4, Power point, Psychic Points went up by 5, Offense went up by 3, and Defense went up by 1, IQ went up by 2, and Speed went up by 1. A lot of things went up. <laughs> Indeed. Back to the duck! Can we actually interact with the duck? A rubber ducky bath. Yay! Well, that'll be it for this episode. We'll, deal, we'll go talk to Rosie the Robot over there in the next episode. Alright, thank you everybody. I've been Peek. God, I'm taking a while to get used to that. I am Red Ribbon Gaming. <laughs> and I'm Death by Straws. Alright, see y'all in the next episode. Hopefully the hopefully the maid makes sense. <laughs>